All right, friends, let's start our journey in child's pose. So go ahead and bring your big toes together. Gently drop the hips back, bring the forehead down. See if you can find as much stillness as possible inside your body. Take these first couple moments, just let your thoughts start to settle down. Really give your mind permission to be present inside the body, with the breath, with all the different sensations. Whatever you have planned for the rest of your day, see if you can just put that on hold and really be here for yourself throughout the duration of this class. And from this intention, take a couple deep breaths in and out through your nose. Really enjoy the sensation of the breath as it comes in, filling up your lungs. And as it empties, take one more deep breath. Good. And from here, let's come into a tabletop position on the hands and the knees. So we'll stack the shoulders over the wrists and the hips about over the knees. From here, we'll take some big circles with the upper body and we'll start by going clockwise. So go ahead, inhale, shift your chest forwards and towards the top left corner of your mat and then move it over to the right side and then exhale, drop the hips back towards your right heel and then shift them over to the left heel. So keep these going, inhale, come forwards, exhale, drop back, go at your own pace. And then same thing going the opposite direction. And this should feel pretty nice in the hips, warming up the wrists a little bit. One more breath, one more circle. Good. After you finish your last one, we'll come back to center. We'll take some cat cows. So with an inhale, drop the belly down towards the ground, gaze up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin down towards the chest. We'll do two more of these. Inhale, really lift the chin. And then exhale, round the back. And one more time. Inhale, gaze up. And exhale, round the spine. Great job. Bring your back to a neutral position. Slide the hands a little bit forwards and we'll move into downward facing dog. So first downward dog of our practice today. So be intuitive, take what feels good, maybe pedal the feet out, maybe rock from side to side, shake the head, yes, shake it no, or maybe just being in stillness feels best for you. We'll all, we'll meet in stillness here I want you to try and press your heels down into the mat as much as you can. They don't have to touch. Anchor through the pointer fingers and your thumbs. And then see if you can pull your inner arms towards each other so that it feels like your armpits are squeezing into the center of your body. Your biceps are rotating upwards towards the ceiling. Good. From here, take a deep breath in. Exhale out, gaze between your hands and step your feet all the way to the top of your mat. Bring opposite hand to opposite elbow coming into ragdoll pose. Feel free to take a little bend in your knees here. Feel free to add in some movement, maybe rock side to side. Allow the head to soften down towards your forearms. 
Take one more deep breath. And as you exhale, release your elbows, bring your fingers down to the mat. Good job. Inhale, let's take our first halfway lift. So either keep the fingers on the ground or press your palms into your ankles as you lengthen the spine, lifting the chest. And with your exhale, fold forward, drop the head. Good. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Reach the arms up, gaze up, press the palms together. Exhale, pull the hands to heart center. And then from here, relax your hands down to the hips. Inhale, again, sweep the arms up, gaze up, press the palms together. And as you exhale, fold forward. Allow your head to be the last thing that drops down towards the mat. Good, inhale, lift your chest, lengthen halfway. And as you exhale, plant the palms, step back downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, bend your right knee, start to open your hip. So the bottom of your right foot is pressing open towards the left side of your mat. Try and keep your shoulders in line with each other. Good, from here, come onto your left tippy toes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, coming into a twist. Maybe gaze up towards your right fingertips, if that feels okay in your neck. For three, two, and one, lower your right hand down. Big step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bend your left knee, start to open that hip. Try and press through your hands equally. Keep pressing your left foot towards the right side. Come onto your right tippy toes. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly. Step the foot forwards. Inhale, reach the left arm up to the ceiling, gaze up to the hand. Peel the left shoulder open for three. Keep pressing through your back toes for two. And one, lower the left hand down. Step back, downward facing duck. Inhale. And exhale, gaze to the top of your mat, step the feet forwards. This time, option to bring your big toes together, or if it's more comfortable, you can always keep the feet hips width distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up to stand, mountain pose, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, friends, we'll move into our sun salutations. So drop the hands down to the sides of the body. Inhale, create a straight line as you reach the arms up, press the palms together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back into a high plank position. Good, option to lower the knees right away. And we're all gonna move onto the belly, so slowly bend the elbows, and then the chest comes down. If the knees are still lifted, go ahead, lower the knees down. Untuck the toes, press the tops of your feet down into the mat, and with an inhale, we'll come into a cobra pose, Bhujangasana, so lift your chest. Good, see if you can pull the palms of your hands back towards the back of your mat. Try and scoop your chest forward, but try and keep length in the back of your neck. Inhale, and exhale, lower the chest down. Great job, inhale, press up onto your hands and your knees, and exhale, roll back downward facing dog. Pause here, find stillness, just like we did at the start of class, for three breaths.
take one more breath here. My cat is saying hello. Maybe you hear him in the background. All right, gaze to the top of your mat and we'll step the feet forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Maybe gaze forward. Exhale, fold forward, drop the head. Good. Inhale, roll all the way up, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, drop the head back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back into your high plank position. And we'll move right into a low plank this time. So we'll bend the elbows, you can lower the knees or keep them lifted. Chest is hovering. Inhale, upward facing dog, straight in the arms, roll the shoulders back, lift the chin. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Pause here for a couple breaths. Try and feel the air as it comes in and as it goes out. One more breath. Good. Gaze to the top of your mat. Step forward, or this time if you'd like to jump the feet forwards, feel free. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, fold forward. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back high to low plank, bend the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog, firm your thighs, pull your collarbones back. Exhale, downward facing dog, take two breaths here. One more breath. And again, gaze forward. If you're jumping, try and keep your arms as straight as you can as you hop forwards. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, forward fold. Relax the head. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back into your chaturanga, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just take one breath here. At the bottom of your exhale, gaze forward, step or float the feet forwards. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. So really falling into this rhythm of the breath. Inhale, rise up, reach up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause here. Great job. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Good. This time, plant your back foot flat on the mat behind you. Inhale, rise all the way up into warrior two. So our first standing pose of the day. So do your best to stack your right knee over the ankle. Try and get your hips right in the middle of your feet. And then hang out here and see if you can feel inside your body. Feel the points of contact between your feet and the mat. Feel the energy rushing through the arms as you reach forwards and backwards. Good. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Reach your right arm back. You can either slide your back hand down your leg or you can wrap that left hand behind your back. If it feels okay on the neck, gaze up to the right hand. Create as much space as you can from your right hip all the way through your right fingertips. For three, 
two, one, come back into warrior two, and then we'll move into side angle pose. A couple options. Option one, bring your right forearm on top of your right thigh. Option two, bring your right hand to a block if you have one handy. Option three, bring your right fingertips or your right palm flat on the mat. Left arm is gonna reach overhead. From here, spiral open through the left side of your body. Stay here or play with a bind if you'd like. So if you wanna play with a bind, the left hand is gonna wrap around the back. Right hand is gonna thread underneath your inner thigh. Maybe clasp fingertips behind your back. I know that right leg is feeling it, so just hang out here for two more breaths. If you're in a bind, try and spiral the top shoulder open for three, two, and one. Release the bind if you have one. Plant the palms. Step back, high plank. Good, from here, shift the chest forward. Bend the elbows, low plank. Option to lower the knees. Inhale, upward, facing dog. Lift the chest. Exhale, roll back, downward, facing dog. Amazing job, take a deep breath in. Sigh it out your mouth. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Plant your back foot flat down. Inhale, spiral the arms open, warrior two. So again, left knee stacks over the ankle. Pelvis is right in the middle of your feet reaching actively through the arms, so really gripping the muscles to your arm bones. Eye gaze is towards your left hand. Inhale, reverse, reach the left arm back. For three, two, one. Slowly come back, warrior two. Extended side angle. So whatever variation you took on the other side. So the right hand is reaching forwards. The right palm is facing down towards the ground. From your spiral open. So try and stack the right side of your body on top of the left side of your body. Gaze up towards your right hand if that feels okay. Stay here, this might be a perfect place for you to be. If you want more, go for the bind. So the left hand will thread underneath the inner thigh, right arm wraps around the back, either clasp fingertips, or with your right hand, grab the left wrist if that's accessible. Spiral open wherever you are for three, two, one, good job. If you have a bind, let it go. Plant the palms, top of the mat. Step back, downward dog. Deep breath in. And exhale out. Gaze forward, step or jump your feet between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good, from here, step or hop the feet so that they're about hips width distance on your mat. From here, with your peace fingers and your thumbs, grab your big toes. Inhale, lengthen your spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold forward, drop the head down, relax the arms. Just let everything hang, soften the head down, take three breaths. One more breath. Good, release your toes. Inhale, bring the chest halfway up. Exhale, slide the palms of your hands underneath the soles of your feet. So we're stepping on top of the hands. Toes come all the way to your wrists. Inhale, lengthen the spine and see if you can shift your weight towards your toes. 
Maybe the heels even lift off of the ground a little bit. And then exhale, fold forward. Keep the weight shifting towards the toes as you soften the head down. Two more breaths. Good, release the hands. And this time we'll come into a little squat. So we're gonna bring the feet together. So a little bit different than the typical malasana squat that we would normally take in a yoga class. Right, so the, the heels are together. We're gonna play with something fun here. So go ahead and extend your right leg forwards. So we're in like a single leg squat. Now you can use your fingertips to support yourself here. Okay, from here we're gonna open the right leg towards the right side of the mat and then bring it back. So we'll do that a couple times. So open the right leg, bring it back. Now if you feel super comfortable, option to reach your hands forwards. It's gonna make it a little bit more challenging. Have fun with it, don't be, <laughs> don't be afraid to fall. We'll do it three more times. So open the leg, bring it back. Again, open, back, try and keep the whole bottom of your left foot anchoring down. Last time, open the right leg, bring it back, good. And then we'll switch legs. So again, totally fine to use the fingertips to balance here. You might even be on the right toes if you can't get that right heel down, that's okay too. Okay, five times, open and come back. Open up and back. Try and use the core here. Open up, and back two more times. Last time, great job. All right, plant the palms. In fact, don't plant the palms. Let's come to a seated position on the mat. We're gonna come into a Navasana boat pose. So go ahead and lift the legs. Reach the arms forward. So you can keep the knees bent or you can straighten the legs. Your choice. Hold here for three. Breathing nice and deeply. Two. And one. Come into a low boat. So go ahead and hover the heels one inch above the mat. Hover the head. Hold for three. Two. One. From here, lift your legs overhead. And we're gonna roll all the way up the length of the spine and we're gonna land back in that little squat that we were just in. So maybe look up to the screen for this first one. So we're gonna roll all the way up and come into the squat. Now you're gonna need to get some momentum to come all the way up so you can use your hands to support you. And the faster you rock up, the easier it is gonna be to come into this squat. So we'll do this a couple of times. So we'll start in our low boat, roll all the way up, try and find the balance on your way up. Let's go for two more times, have fun with it. Last time. <laughs> all right, great job. From here, go ahead and come onto your knees. Bring the knees about hips width distance on the mat. I hope you had fun with that. It's good to challenge ourselves sometimes in our yoga class. So we'll bring the hands to the lower back. Thumbs are gonna point towards the sides of your body. Come into a Ustrasana camel pose. Gently drop the head back. As much as you drop the head back, see if you can lift your chest upwards towards the ceiling to really feel the arch in the middle of your back as much as possible. You can stay here if you wanna come deeper, you can bring the hands down to the heels for our last couple of breaths. Really relax the head back, open through the front of your throat.
take one more breath. And slowly, if the hands are on the heels, bring them back to your low back and we'll start to make our way up. And then we'll come to a seated position on the mat. We'll make our way into a wide-legged position. Go ahead and internally rotate your legs so that your toes are pointing directly up to the ceiling. Press down through the legs so that the backs of your knees anchor into the ground. Inhale, sweep the arms up, gaze up between the hands. And exhale, fold right down the center. Go as deep as feels comfortable for you. So we want to find the stretch, but we don't want to push ourselves too much. It's kind of like being a good chef. You don't want to use too much spice, but you don't want too little. Always about finding that middle ground. With your exhales, see if you can soften the chest even closer down to the ground. Take two more breaths. One more breath. Good. Next inhale, start to come back up. Inhale, with your next breath, reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, reach the right hand towards your left foot. So your left hand can just be grabbing the left ankle. If you have the flexibility, option to bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot. And then maybe the right hand can reach towards the outer left foot. So again, don't feel the need to push yourself. These are just variations. One variation is not better than the next. Really try and be as still as you can once you've found your variation. Take one more breath, see if you can twist the right side of your chest open a little bit more. Release the foot, start to come back up. Inhale, reach the left arm up. And exhale, reach towards the right foot. So again, right hand can grab the ankle or the right hand can come to the inside of the foot. And then the left hand can keep reaching forwards with the hand lifted or if it's, if it's accessible, you can bring it to the outside of the foot. And twist open through the left side of your body. Two more breaths. Next inhale, come back up. Good job. From here, bring your legs together. We're gonna to move into a double pigeon pose. A couple options. Option one, if you have a block, you can stack the right foot on top of the block. So the left leg will be straight out. Right foot's on the block. If you don't have a block, you can bring the, the it's really the outer right ankle, so it's a little bit higher than the foot, and you'll bring it on top of your left thigh. And then third option, if you have the hip flexibility, you're gonna bring that right foot to the left knee, and this time the left leg is gonna bend. So this is called fire log pose, so the legs are stacked on top of each other. Wherever you are, inhale, lengthen the spine. See if you can roll the shoulders back. And as you exhale, option to fold it forwards as much as you need to feel a stretch in that right hip. So we'll be here for about five breaths. See if you can feel exactly where you feel the stretch originating from inside your right hip. 
Is it the front of the hip? Is it the outside of the hip? Is it towards the middle of the leg or is it isolated to the hip, the top of the leg? Kind of like being a scientist, really studying the body, feeling exactly what it is that you're experiencing in each pose. Let's take one more breath. And then slowly start to roll back up. Great job. From here, we're gonna step the right foot over the left thigh. So if you were in one of those first variations, go ahead and bend your left knee. And this time we're gonna bend the um, the left knee so that the left heel comes all the way towards the right glute. Good, from here, inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, we're gonna come into a twist. Option one, give your right leg a little hug with your left arm. Option two, if you wanna go deeper, you can hook the left elbow across the right knee. And then option three, if you still wanna go more, there's a little bind you can play with, so you'll thread the left hand through the gap between your legs, and then the right hand is gonna wrap around your back, maybe interlace fingertips. Gaze over your right shoulder. Try and keep your back lifting up towards the ceiling. For three, keep breathing here. Two, and one, release, slowly untwist. And we'll move into double pigeon on the other side. So either the left ankle comes on top of the right thigh, or again, you can use a block, or the right knee is gonna be bent and the, the foot comes on top of the, uh, the thigh. So once you've found your, your shape, inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, and exhale, start to fold forwards. This side might be tighter or it might be more flexible. So really tune into your body and go just as far as you need to go. And then start to feel, really breathe into the sensations that you're experiencing. Again, feel the sensation of the breath, enjoy the breath. Notice how it feels to take a deep breath. Last two breaths here. Good. Start to rise back up. And we'll move right into our twist here. So the left foot's gonna step on top of the right leg. Right knee is gonna bend. So the heel comes all the way back towards the glute. Inhale, when you're ready, reach the right arm up. And exhale, come into your variation. So either hug the leg, hook the elbow, or play with the bind. Gaze back over the shoulder. Really try and breathe deeply into your abdomen for three, Two, and one. Start to come back to center. Good job. And we'll meet flat on our backs. We'll just finish off with a quick inversion. So your choice here. You can come into waterfall pose. 
Just lift your legs up to the ceiling, maybe even stack your palms behind your back to add a little bit of extra support. Or shoulder stand, bring the hands to the back and lift the legs all the way up. Getting upside down is really healthy for the body. It reverses the direction of the blood flow. Try and be as still as you can. If you'd like to come into plow pose, you can drop the legs behind your head. Otherwise, feel free to hang out in your inversion. In plow pose, if the toes touch down to the ground, option to interlace your fingertips behind your back. If the toes aren't quite touching yet, I would probably keep your hands on your back just to give yourself some extra support. Breathing nice and deeply. Letting everything start to slow down. And we'll slowly begin to roll out onto the back. And we'll all meet uh, flat on the back. Now you can bring your heels together. Legs are straight. Good. From here we'll come into a counter pose, Matsyasana fish pose. So go ahead and lift your upper back coming onto the forearms. Two options. Option one, drop the head back, staying on the forearms. If it feels accessible, option to come onto the top of the head today. And then the palms of the hands are pressing down. And in either variation, we want to lift the chest bone up towards the ceiling, arching the lower back, lifting the middle back, and then breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Let's take three deep breaths here. Opening the throat. One more breath. Good. And then slowly start to bring the head back to center and rest the top of the back of the head down on your mat. All right, friends, we made it. Shavasana pose. Great work. Find any position that's comfortable for you. Maybe close the eyes. Let everything start to soften here. Shavasana is meant to be a place of complete surrender. On a physical level, there's nothing left to accomplish. We've completed our practice. And on a mental level, there's nothing to achieve. There's nothing to strive for in this moment. And just enjoy being present here inside your body. And just let the mind kind of drift off, reaping all the benefits of your practice.
Start to bring your attention back inside your body. Feel the length of the spine resting on the mat. And start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Take a deep breath in. Slow exhale out. Next inhale, reach the arms overhead. Take a full body stretch. Point through the toes, maybe bring the feet together. Arching the spine. And then from here, hug your knees into the chest and roll onto either side of your body. We'll come into a fetal position. And just take a moment here to acknowledge yourself for showing up on your mat for yourself. For taking the time out of your day to be here. We'll slowly make our way up to a seated position. Feel free to keep your eyes closed if you'd like. Rest your palms on top of your knees or whatever is comfortable here. Soften the shoulders. Relax the jaw down away from your upper teeth. Allow your tongue to fall away from the roof of your mouth. And bring your hands to heart center, press the palms into the chest. And we'll take one last breath in this practice together. A deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I really hope you enjoyed this class. Again, my name is Mike. If you have any feedback, questions, comments, please drop me a comment below. Maybe hit the like if you enjoyed this video or the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my classes in the future. Again, thanks again for watching. Namaste.